Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js. In today's video training, we will be learning about how to run PHP script from Node.js. <coughs> Node.js is one of the most adopted web development technologies, but it lacks some features and support. To fulfill this gap, it can be connected to other languages or technologies using various techniques, for example, PHP, Python, etc. For those developers who are not familiar with PHP but use Node.js framework can also benefit from PHP using child process module for Node.js. Child process module for Node.js provides functionality to run scripts or commands in languages other than JavaScript too like PHP. We can implement various features provided via PHP into Node.js application. Child process allows us to run PHP script in Node.js application and stream and stream out into from PHP script. A function child underscore process dot spawn. This method helps us to spawn child process asynchronously. Let's create a simple PHP script that will take two command line arguments as a first name and last name and then send the full page HTML including these two arguments to Node.js. Later, we will run that script from Node.js application and display output in the browser window. Okay, let's go to the command line and first of all create a project directory. I'm going to call it Node.php and set the permissions Node.php. Let's go into this directory Node.php and create our first PHP file and let's call it hello.php. Okay, so, okay, okay, so let's start it and we have send output to node JS string variable and we are going to add HTML in this variable, HTML body h1 this html is sent from php to node.js close the h1 tag and start the h2 tag try and experiment close the h2 tag and that's the starting point of our string just copy the string here and we will be concatenating some data here. This is the output from PHP script and I am going to add line breaks here. So we have a line breaks in the browser output copy this again and this time we are going to say first name colon okay dot dot and here we are going to use the argument array that is the default argument array in the PHP language which I will demonstrate in a short while so you will have a better understanding of this and this is the last name to okay and let's close the body in HTML body is closed and HTML is closed okay and now let's echo the string as an output okay save this file into node PHP folder that we just created as hello.php file that's it for the PHP now let's move on to the node.js file that we want to create so node.js server code <coughs> we will be calling this file node.js 
and let's create the express server object by requiring the express server module next thing we need to do is create the app variable creating the express instance then we listen at port 3000 and trigger the function output and console log server is running on port 3000 yeah, that's it next thing define a route called name and if that route name is called we will be calling a callback function called call name now let's define the function call name which receives a request object and a response object and within this function we will be creating a spawn variable requiring the child process dot spawn module that is built into node.js we don't need to install it okay let's create a process spawn name of the script that is php and the name of the file of that scripting language that is hello.php and then we are going to require query dot first name and require dot query dot last name okay that's it now let's take data from script which executed with arguments and send this data to response object so let's define the process dot std out dot on event and trigger it when data is received and what we are going to do with that data we are going to console dot log data received from php script and let's show that data on the console and then send it to the browser data dot to string okay okay save the code as node dot js After saving the PHP script and server script code, run the code from its source folder by following command. So let's go to the command line and run node node.js. So we can see the server is running on port 3000. And now we need a browser. So let's open the Chrome browser and I'm going to use localhost 3000 and the route that we defined was name query parameter first name i'm going to say usman and last name i'm going to say mahmood so i get this html is sent from php to node.js try and experiment this is the output from php script first name usman and last name mahmood so basically what we did is that we call the php script hello.php and that script gave us an output string that was the whole html file or you can say the html code that we executed in the browser through node.js and we got this output there can be various applications using this method this can be used as an alternative to REST APIs. This method can help our web application take benefits from other languages, special features which are currently not available in JavaScript. RDBMS strong support and other features can be implemented in PHP and then utilize them in web app using this method. 
As a reference, you can visit this website node.js.org API chart child underscore process dot HTML. That's it for this video training. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The source code of this video training is available on my GitHub repository. You can download it from there and run it and experiment on your own. See you next time with a new video in Node.js.